All right, this is JD and welcome to my channel. Um, please subscribe and please link and please pass things along. And again, these are my long fingernails for guitar. These ones aren't long for the other end of the guitar. So there you go. So here I've got the JD Richard Bronze Diver. As you can see, it's a beautiful watch. It's a bronze diver from San Martin, S-A-N-M-A-R-T-I-N, with a really nice vintage looking strap. It's kind of a cool strap. I've worn this out on the boat, it's a thing of beauty. I'm gonna straighten this up a bit because it's driving me nuts. There we go. And this is not what the video is about. This is an unboxing. Unboxing. So I'm gonna take this box and it's an Amazon box. So here it is here. This is the box. And I'm just gonna cut this open. This is the boring part of the unboxing. Right, I'm gonna cut opposite to the arrow. It's amazing, I'm not following the instructions. The amazing Amazon instructions. So what do I got here? So this is it. This is the watch. A Bulova Computron by D Cave. A Bulova Computron by D Cave. I might do a full review of this watch later, but look at this baby. It's pretty friggin' amazing. I love the case already. So let me open this up and see what it looks like. Uh, how do I open this up? I've got a little bit of a seal there on the edge. So if I, I don't want to rip the box because it's a really nice box. So I just need to get the scissors in here and just very carefully tear this open. Is that possible? I do not want to ruin the box. Wait, wait, wait. No, I got to do this. Man, I hate when they make these boxes so well. Uh, I'm going to tear it from here. So there we go. That's one side and stick that down there and another one this is the boring part so i should be telling stories right now about watchmaking so the next watch i gotta fix is a rolex it's a very nice rolex and um, it's not a new rolex it's an old rolex and it's the type of rolex that they give you they gave you back in the day when you retired from a company so and it is a family-owned rolex but it's not mine so it was a special request from my family to actually do some work on this Rolex and repair it. But let's get working on this bull of a Computron. So what does it say in the back? I'm going to I'm going to look at this in a second, uh, but I got to tear this off nice and carefully. I don't want to rip too much of the paper. That's that. And then one more of these. Oh, my God. Good golly, Miss Molly. Sure like to rock and roll. See, I did rip a bit of the paper, so hopefully that's not going to void my warranty. And tear a bit more here. And I better hurry up because supper's coming up, and I'm going to get in trouble if I'm not down for supper on time. I'll be unboxing my lawyer's uh, work papers, right? So it's a totally different unboxing to unbox. So there we go. And what does it say here? It says... O W A M A Z O N. That's Amazon, right? So color W H. Is that white? I don't think so. Box is a B zero five Wave. Uh, the bill of material B O M. I think bill of material. It's a ninety eight C one four one. That's the part number right there. Use my scissors here. Ninety eight C one four one, and it's by D Cave. The build maybe it's B U B U L. It's probably build. Build D Cave BX119, um, and that's the uh, that's the labeling for it. So nothing special. And then you've got your traditional bull of a box, and I have other another bull of a watch that I've got. So I haven't opened this up. So let's have a look. I want to be I want to be amazed. Wow, this is cool. So there we go. So there it is. This is the bull of a setting instructions so what do they have setting instructions and this is tricky so this is the this is the d cave watch the bulova computron so i'm going to take off the the big pillow here or the little pillow for a mouse and get these scissors out of the way so we can have a look at this thing so it has a fake protective cover right here and i'm just hoping when i turn this thing on it actually works right so I'm going to turn this on. So first of all, it's got a very nice rubber strap. The rubber strap um, is loomed, so it glows in the dark. I'm not going to show you the loom. On the back, there's um, 
uh, coin operated battery removal so this is probably a standard watch a big ass standard watch battery but and there's four screws in the corner here if I want to take this apart to do any repairs plus this watch can take a standard strap because you can see there are you know the normal lugs are here on the edge here for the strap and and this would attach here but this is a very nice rubber strap and I love the accenting by putting this loom on here also the top line here is loomed and the circuit board is under here there's another version of this which is the 140 this is the 141 which I heard that it's actually it's a little less expensive but it's actually nicer so this is a collaboration between D cave and Bulova to make these watches and they're basically a remake of a 70s watch but this particular model was just made this year and and I think the style is amazing on this model uh, someday I'll forget it. I'll remember how to take this off so yeah the I 98C141 there it is so 98C140 is the model where you can see the circuit board through the top but it looks a little chintzier right so and that's the Bulova so I'll just throw this back in and I know that this button here is the set time button and but I'm just going to press the time and just show you what it looks like when it's lit up and I'm hoping there's a battery in there so hope and pray so stand by here we go there it is 1738 and actually that's the right time so it's 1738 army time and it's pretty bright it actually looks way more crisp when than it, uh, in person than it does on camera and it doesn't on camera it looks fuzzy around the numbers but it is not fuzzy at all around the numbers so if you look at this watch you can see this kind of a wedge shape which is really cool that's a wedge shape the thing's got some weight on it I'm telling you I'm gonna want it to say I'm gonna want it to say it's got a lot of weight on it uh, it's got one button so you've got to be totally stupid I'll say I won't use the R word but you got to be totally stupid if you can't operate this you just press the button look at that and I know if you press the button again that's the time and I saw some other review on this you press the button again you get the seconds and it'll just keep rolling I don't think that'll turn off ah, it will there we go I lied you get the seconds and you press the button again 727 that's the date so 27 in the month July so it's the 27th of July and you press the button again what do you get UJE so I've seen people scroll by that because they don't know what the hell it is <laughs> so they go oh yeah it also has UJE so whatever the heck UJE is so and then 1644 uh, that is an alternate time I think 1644 because that's not the time 1644 this must be time equals B or maybe an alarm I'll have to look this up I may even have to read the damn thing to figure out how to set it right but 1740 is the right time so anyway beautiful beautiful uh, rubber strap here just gorgeous rubber strap it feels feels like it's got some some uh, mass to it right um, and then uh, there's writing on the inside of the strap that says Bulova so it says Bulova right here and here on this side it says D cave so and that doesn't stand for the cave in French okay so Bulova D cave I decided to buy this watch only because I'm a nerd I am an electrical engineer so so I just thought this is one cool friggin watch eh? so let me put this on it looks like the strap is the strap backwards maybe not I'm gonna put it on my wrist right now and they call this a driver's watch because when you're driving you can see the time but this the foolishness of this is that you got to reach up and press the button so I don't know what driver somebody driving a car would reach up and press a button so there's a clasp here this, there's a double clasp here which is actually nice I like that because if you get one that breaks or whatever you can you get the backup clasp and there's the watch on the wrist um, that looks pretty friggin cool I'm telling you I look very scientific right now with this watch on my wrist and I press the button and there's the time 1741 which means it's time to go eat my chicken so this very stylistic this is this is metal this is not plastic this is all probably stainless steel powder coated or coated uh, maybe flash coated because they do flash coat uh, Bulova was flash coating metal so this is not a chunky piece of plastic this is actually metal um, thus the price it's around 300 Canadian 
uh, I got a, and, and I got this from Amazon, like uh, as you saw in the packaging. So Amazon 300 Canadian, brilliant watch, press the button, 1742. I'm going to be wearing this watch all over the damn place. So really love it. Let me just take this off for a second and show it to you one more time. And I'll just move it around very close and slowly, right? So and it's got some of the data on there. Stainless steel, water resistant. I think it's only good for three bars, which is 30 feet, I think. So close and open. Um, and then as I turn it around here, this is stainless steel. And the black is coated stainless steel. It is heavy. So it's got some weight on it, which I really like. And this bar on top is loomed. So at nighttime, this thing is looking pretty cool. I won't have to, I can't make a loom shot on it right now because I got too much light in my room here. But but uh, I did see another loom shot on it that looked really brilliant, right? So, so I'm very impressed by the style of this watch. This suits me. Um, I typically only wear uh, automatic watches. Uh, sometimes I carry pocket watches with me because I'm a watch repair so i do repair and watch look at my channel look at other things and i got to shoot that number at you again look at that 1743 so this tells me i got to get my butt downstairs right now or i'm going to get in trouble 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 so thanks for watching this is a quick look at the Bulova d cave watch um, we'll see how long the battery lasts but changing a battery with this big coin slot here is no big deal at all that should be dead easy um, and I should never have to go inside here. I imagine it has a big kind of a conformed gasket here for waterproofing. But you want to make sure that you don't go in the water with this thing because the water might get into this uh, button here somehow. But it is good for 30 feet. So so not a swimming watch, but just a stylistic kind of an electronic nerd guy watch. There we go. So I think you should get one of these. It's a good watch. It's a boulevard. It's a good quality. And... Look at that light, man. It's good for the evenings when you're when you've had a few drinks and you can't see what time it is. You can press that button and go, wow. And again, it's a driver's watch, so when you put it on your wrist and you're driving, you're holding the steering wheel and you go like this, you can just press the button and see what time it is. Or you can have a normal watch and just rotate it. So <laughs> anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. This is the Bulova Computron D Cave. And it's the 98141. BAM!